in the Rama and I'll be presenting early onset of puberty, causes and effects. First of all, puberty is a phase in a children's life where they change hormonally, um, physically and sexually to become capable of reproducing. Now, precocious puberty occur, occurs when they go under these changes <clears throat> before the usual age. And this occurs in boys before 9 years old and in women before 8 years old. Now, how does it work? Well, um, it starts with awakening the neuro neuroendocrine machinery. And <clears throat> it takes complex sequence events. <clears throat> the hypothalamus integrates various signals from the peripheral peripheral um, nervous system and the central nervous system and they work uh, to secrete gonadotropin releasing hormone. This hormone works to stimulate the pituitary gland um, which releases um, luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormones which uh, play a role in uh, regulating menstrual cycle in women and ovulation and in men um, um, spermatogenesis. Now, during precocious um, puberty, uh, the pituitary gland stimulates ovaries and testes prematurely. Now, the normal branch uh, for this is um, for girls 8 years, to 8 years old to 13 years old, and for boys is 9 and a half to 13 and a half. But uh, different trends have been seen recently in the United States in African American girls and white white girls and uh, Mexican-American girls. This trend is, has been also observed in Western Europe. Now the possible causes of these changes is um, inheritance, obesity, environmental contamination, and societal factors. Now there's three pathological conditions, uh, congenital adrenal hyperplasia, which uh, causes adrenal uh, gland abnormality. And the adrenal gland basically uh, produces a lot more of um, androgens. Um, now the, there's a spina bifida with hydrocephalus, and the causes is not certain, but it's thought that the hydrocephalus interferes with the biological clock. Now McEwen Albright syndrome is caused by a mutation in gene GNAS1, and this mutation is not inherited, it is caused during pregnancy. Now, genetic influences. We know that um, there's genes that control um, onset of puberty, and there's two genes that are suspected to do this work. One of them controls androgen biosynthesis, and the other one controls um, breast development. But most of the genes involved in this process are not known. They're still being to be discovered. Now, environmental factors. We have the endocrine disruptors, and these are compounds. They could be natural made or man made, but these mimic the structure of estrogen. And they have the potential of very stimulation. There's, we can start with pesticides, and one of them is DDT, which uh, promotes hypothalamic maturation, which results in inhibition of the pituitary activity, which basically means inhibits uh, the production of estrogen. Now, uh, children's migrating, migrating uh, it has been observed in children who migrate from undeveloped countries to Western Europe or develop any developed country that um, they, they're getting the precocious uh, puberty and this is because they were exposed to the DDT which inhibited the estrogen and was inhibiting going into puberty. Once you go to the other country, you, you, you get into puberty because you're taking the exposure away. Now. Uh, polyruminated by phenyl. Uh, it's another chemical which um, causes um, early onset. It causes early onset of menarche and pubic hair. And uh, a study was done to compare high exposure to low exposure, and the ones with the high exposure uh, show a higher incidence of this. Uh, now, ephthalates also play the same role, but they cause breast enlargement and earlier ages and also studies show a higher percentage um, of exposure on patients with telerk which is an enlarged breast at earlier age. Now um, we have bisphenol A which is a big concern because this is found in um, plastic containers 
which we use pretty, pretty much every day when you take your food to work. And this bisphenol A is going in your food. It's found in water bottles and, and it's being shown by the government, studies funded by the government that we have it in our systems. And also showing animals to produce really bad effects on fetuses and newborns. So it is a concern. Um, now obesity, it's also um, it's a, a trend has been observed, increasing BMI to be related to ons early onset of puberty. And uh, it has been observed mostly in African Americans and non Hispanic girls. And there's a skepticism because uh, of, of uh, this compound called leptin, which is a metabolic signal that allows puberty to progress. And it has been found in high levels in African American uh, girls. And also, the trend is watched in, in differently in boys. It is the opposite. Uh, boys with early onset of puberty have lower BMI. So it's still not completely valid. Now, there's an evolutionary impact. And evolutionarily, early onset of puberty is accepted. And basically, we are. Culturally, going the cultural evolution is progressing faster than the genetic accumulation. So, for example, for us, it's better to rep to start having to start reproducing earlier because you spend you have more time to raise your children. But right now, in this time, we women are having their periods younger by having children of older ages. So basically what's happening is the risk of getting a cancer of breast and the nation and ovary it's much higher. Now, other effects. Um, uh, we have, there's public health concerns because psychological maturity lags behind physical development. So these children are developing physically but they don't have the social support nor the education. So it brings health consequences. Now, um, some of the uh, conditions associated with precocious uh, puberty is increased anxiety, body shape and weight concerns, and eating disorders. And now these children are also more prone to get involved in unequal risk-taking behaviors because they're not mature enough. Now, they get into deviant behaviors, and there's a difference between girls and boys. Girls, um, they tend to get into relationships with older individuals or older boyfriends, boyfriends, and basically, also they look younger. Um, they look older when they're 13 years old, which has been correlated with having a greater number of partners by the age of 16. This leads to also having a higher risk of, of getting an STD. And also, by starting having sex earlier, they go, they have early pregnancies, high risk of early pregnancies. So, these are the health um, consequences or risk that they go under. Now, boys, they they have a different relationship with deviant peers. It is not clear if it plays a role, but it has been seen that when they have precocious puberty, they engage in violence, preferring crime, illicit drugs use, and early sexual behavior. And this concludes my presentation. I hope you enjoy and find the topic interesting. Thank you.